Okay, so let's have a look at the components. Let's start out, um, just start out with the file explorer here. So I moved the file explorer under components because I feel that's the right place to put it since it's a component, right? So on a file explorer, I have a lot of different files here and I've kind of added the, um, a JS file, an HTML file and a CSS file per component part, right? And, and I don't know if that's the right way to do because I feel that more and more we are starting to try and move it all into one component file so we have it all together, but I'm still kind of used to the old way where I kind of split it up into each file. So I might move that as one file instead. But let's just have a look at the first component, which is the top component, right? And uh, I've just made some dummy data here just to get going with the UI. This is of course what we're going to change later where we actually start grabbing real data from a database and saving real data and files to a database. So that'll be a, the goal of course as we move forward with the course. Right now I've made a few things. I have something that I can select. That's actually what you're seeing when I'm clicking here to say select, click, click, click. Then it knows what is selected. I have something called folder hierarchy and that's actually the guy up here. So if I double click here, you'll see another guy pops up here. That's the hierarchy. And let me just go back. I also have a list of just right now, just a few folders that I can pick from. Again, just dummy data. And then here is where I push the first folder up there. That's what actually does it so that, uh, oh, I need to log in again. That's actually what does it so that there's already one guy up here as the breadcrumb trail. What else do I do in here? Notice this is just JavaScript code. This is just domain logic or whatever, not domain logic, but UI logic that I need to have. Here and I have a select function so I can actually select the new guy when I click it or double click it. Here I can open a folder by double clicking. Actually, this is just selecting a file. This is opening folder by double clicking. And here I just select just the first folder so that you guys can actually see something showing here. Okay, so it's just, it's just building up some data and just trying to get something up and running. But the cool thing here is this is where I actually define my new component. So this is where I say in the end, so notice here, I make some kind of function just like I showed you. I have nothing in here, nothing is coming in from the outside. It's called an explorer controller. It can be anything you want to call it. And then down here in the bottom, I actually use this and make a new component called file explorer. Okay, so here's the first thing you guys need to learn. If I call this file explorer with camel case, it'll actually end up being a tag looking like this, file dash explorer. This kind of tricked me a few times in the beginning, but the capitalized E inside the name of the component will in the HTML actually be called dash explorer instead. You'll see this in a second, just so you know that that's actually the way it's going to end up looking instead of saying file explorer with a capitalized E. Okay, let's save that again. Now what I do again, this is very basic control actually, even though there's a lot of logic here, it's a very basic one because all I say is, add it to the module again called Course Planner app, call it File Explorer, and then what I want in it is I want a path to my File Explorer HTML. That's the file that's right here above it. Let me just zoom so you guys can see it over here. The File Explorer HTML is right here. So I'm just pointing to that right here. That's all I'm doing. And then the other one is the name of the actual controller, and the controller is of course the function I just defined up here in the beginning of the file. So what's inside the file explorer HTML? Let's have a look. The file explorer HTML is of course building some kind of structure for me. So I need to have some kind of setup so I can show um, my beautiful new file explorer. And the first thing I'm adding, this guy is just a toolbar. So what is that all about? Well, it's just this guy right here. What's in the toolbar? It's a title, there's the breadcrumb trail, and then there's a few buttons that don't do anything right now. But I just wanted to add them just to show you the end product, right? Okay, let's go back. So that's what we have here. That's just the toolbar. And then here's the exciting part because here we actually have the actual layout. And notice that I've added two kind of areas. The first area is all the folders that I found. The second area is all the files that I found. So it's kind of saying this is the first area that's going to add all the folders. So let me just try and show you what actually happens if this was on a phone or something smaller. It'll start adding, let me just make some more space. The folders are kind of their own area 
and then the files are their own area. So I just chose to split this up. I, I'm kind of inspired by Google Drive. They've done kind of the same thing. In the top we have all the folders and then all the files in the folder below. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. And by the way, what I just pressed here in Chrome is actually a great way if you guys are working on a phone um, development tool of some kind, you can see if your uh, responsive view will actually work for you. So that was just a side note. Let me just redo this. I just want to show you that these two are actually split into two areas and inside the code, the first area is right here and that's containing a lot of explore folders, meaning this guy right here. File explore folder is right over here, those three files right there. And then below it's containing a list of components called fi explore file and they're the ones up here. So just notice that it's very easy for me to read this. It's very easy for me to see, okay, so this is the toolbar, this is the area where I have my explore folders, this is the area where I have my explore files, very, very simple to read, very neat, very easy to work with. That's the goal of it. And you'll see I'm using a lot of different uh, information sets here. One thing that I'm doing is, instead of before where I used to scope, I didn't have to write anything in front of my functions, now I have to use, and I'm actually using the built-in controller that everybody is getting inside components automatically. Whenever I'm setting a controller here, automatically behind the scenes, the full stack, sorry, the Angular setup has actually made it so that I can just inside my HTML write dollar sign, CTRL, and then I'll actually have access to the controller functions or the controller, whatever I'm using. So for the select one, for instance, which is right here, if I want to use that in HTML, I'll just write dollar sign controller dot select, right? So that's just an easy way for binding the controller into the HTML so I can work with that. We'll get more into details in this. I just want to show you just the main setup of the file explorer. Next, we'll have a look at the guys inside the file explorer. See you in the next lessons.